Now, welcome back to the second part on the discussion of Castellano's Second Theorem. So, if you have not watched my um, first discussion on this topic, I have posted the link of the part 1 of this discussion in the description below. So, kindly watch my first uh, discussion so that you'll have the basic knowledge regarding this topic. Okay, and then in the second part, we will continue solving problems. So we have the second example. We have to determine the rotation at joint C. Okay, now for rotation, instead of a putting or instead of using a concentrated load P, so we will be using external moment here. Okay, so we will assume that our rotation is in clockwise direction so we will set here we have external moment we have m bar but since we do not have external couple at point c okay so therefore we will use our moment here equals to zero okay so we have now uh, this system but if we have an external couple at joint c so we will change that couple into variable m but in this case that we do not have external load at point c so we will set here our barred m equals to zero so the next step is of course we compute the reaction so we have the reaction at d we have here dy and the reaction at a we have here a y and we also have of course a x the horizontal reaction at a so we can um, sum up moment at a so that we would compute the value of dy so we have summation of moment at a equals to zero counterclockwise positive so we have here um dy times 12 correct then we have minus of course the barred m and then we have minus 180 times 4 minus 20 times 12 times 6 equals to 0. So we have the value of dy here which is equal to barred m over 12 we have plus 180. So we can now compute the value of ey by summation of force vertical is equal to 0 upward force are positive so we have ay plus dy uh, minus 20 times 12 equals to 0 so you have ay is equal to of course we have negative dy plus 240 now we have already computed the value of dy which is we have the barred m over 12 and that is we have negative plus plus 180 now since we have negative outside of dy so they, therefore this would become negative 180 plus 240 therefore we have ay which is equal to negative barred m over 12 plus 60 so this is now the value of ay so we have dy here which is barred m over 12 uh, plus 180 ay on the other hand is negative barred m over 12 plus 60. For AX, we can just sum up forces horizontal is equal to 0. So force acting to the right is positive. So we have negative AX plus 180 equals to 0. So therefore, our AX is equal to 180. So you have AX equals to 180. And then we divide this into segments. So we can divide it into three segments. We have member AB, we have BC, and CD. Now if we let our X here from A, for member AB, so our boundary here would be from 0 to 4. Okay, this is our boundary condition. Now for BC, if we let our X here from A, so our boundary condition here is from 4 to 8. And for CD, if we let our X here from D, so our boundary condition here would be from 0 to 12. So we can now generate moment equation by cutting on every uh, segment. So we begin at AB. So we have uh, this free body diagram. We have AY, which is negative barred M over 12 plus 60 
we have AX here, which is 180. And we have, of course, the internal moment. So we assume that these are the um, internal forces direction. This is moment AB and this is V. So we we generate moment AB by summing up moment at AB is equal to zero counterclockwise are positive. So we have negative 180 because that rotates clockwise and the distance is x of course so we have x plus m a b equals to zero so we have m a b equals to 180 x so we have moment a b which is 180 x now for b c okay we have this free body diagram so we have again ay which is barred m negative barred m over 12 plus 60 and ax which is 180 but we have uh, this concentrated load 180 here um, shown in our free body diagram so we have this internal forces moment bc and the shear and of course the distance is x but the distance here is 4, correct? So that means the distance here is x minus 4. So we can um, sum up moment BC is equal to 0. Counterclockwise are positive. So we have so we have 180 times x minus 4. Then we have minus 180x. And the moment BC, we have plus m bc equals to zero so this would give us mbc equals to 180 x minus 180 times x minus 4 so this is now our moment equation at bc so we have 180 x minus 180 times x minus 4 and lastly we have member cd we have this um, diagram or free body diagram. We have 20 kilonewton per meter here. And then we have, of course, the reaction at D. We have barred M over 12 plus 180, the moment. Now, our moment here, since we, um, in our previous free body diagram, if we cut on the left side of the point, we have our moment which rotates counterclockwise so therefore if we cut on the right side of the point our internal moment here should rotate clockwise okay so this should have opposite in direction okay and you should be consistent with the rotation or the direction of your moment so therefore we have the distance here as x and 20 kilonewton per meter uniformly distributed load so this is our moment cd so we can sum up moment CD equals to zero, counterclockwise positive. So we have um, negative MCD plus, we have here DY, correct? Plus DYX minus 20 times X times X over 2 equals to zero. So we have MCD is equal to DYX minus 10 x squared so we have m cd here we have now the value of dy already so we have barred m 12 plus 180 this is multiplied by x minus 10 x squared so we have here our cd we have barred m over 12 plus 180 x minus 10 x squared and then we get the partial derivative of m with respect to the partial derivative of barred m this time okay since we are using barred m here instead of p now if we differentiate this equation in terms of barred m that means we have a zero since we do not have barred m in our equation that that would act as constant now for this equation again these are all constant therefore this is zero now for this equation we would have um, we have barred m on the equation that means if we differentiate these equations we would have 
x over 12. We only have this equation here which has a value since these two equations has zero derivatives. So that means we have the rotation of c here is equal to the integration of, we have of course the partial derivative of m with respect to the partial derivative of bar m times the moment equation over the flexural rigidity dx, the limit is from let's say x sub 1 to x sub 2. Therefore, we would have the integration of x over 12 times we have of course the bar m over 12 plus 180 times x minus 10x squared. So we have to put bracket for all equation and this is dx. So we can take 1 over ei outside of the integration. The limit would be from 0 to 12. So we have theta c here. Now we take back the value of bar m. Our, the value of bar m here is equal to 0 since we do not have external couple on that particular joint. Okay, so therefore our bar m is equal to 0. So therefore we cancel this out. This would give us 0. That means our answer would be 4320 over EI and this is in terms of kilonewton meter squared. Now take note we have a positive answer that means our assumption that our moment is rotating clockwise is correct. So that means the rotation theta here is also clockwise. So therefore we have this rotation which is in clockwise direction. Okay? But we can compute the exact value here by using the value of E and I. So we have 4320 kilonewton meter squared over the value of E is 200 gigapascal and 1010 raised to the 6. So we can substitute here 200 times 1000 and this would give us the answer as 0.0216 radian and the rotation is clockwise. Okay, so this is now the rotation. So if we draw the um, exact deflection, it would be like this one in which we have this deflection of the column and this is the deflection of the beam. But for the for the column, we have this tangent and the rotation is clockwise as well. This is our theta c. And this would be the um, exaggerated deflection of our frame. And that ends the example number 2. Now let's move to example number 3 in the third part of this uh, video. We will try to solve deflection in a truss system. And thank you guys for listening, but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.